Yo, what is up you guys? It's your boy Nick and of course man, I'm back again with another video. So, let's get straight into it man you guys. Let's let let me let me show you what I'm doing to stay alive longer. So I want to give you guys my tips and tricks on what I'm doing to stay alive, man. Let's start off right here. I am running Synaptic. I um I, I, I like him man. I think he's good. Now, as you can see, I am using Rewind and Combat Burst. Honestly, it's really just a personal preference. I honestly don't like using the weapons like his guns or anyone else's like Merc's laser or what is it? Warfighter's like gun that shoots around corners. I don't like using the guns because I think it puts too much pressure on like me. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but it puts too much pressure on me to go out there and like super try to kill feed, you know, get the kill feed with it. So I don't use it. I find that honestly these especially rewind rewind works so good for me man oh my god it works so good for me i posted a clip on twitter and call of duty retweeted it man everybody was loving it it was a great great clip with that i used with rewind so i'd rather get out of a situation than actually like put myself into a situation so that's why i am using rewind so now let's get down to the classes. Let's just do this real quick, you guys. We are using the NV4. The NV4 and the K-Bar are my absolute favorite guns in the game. Bar none. It's like it's like you got Kobe and Jordan right here. The K-Bar and the NV4. Now we're not gonna get into which one to which is which. You know what I'm saying? That's, we're not gonna do that, boys. We're not gonna do that. But uh, we do got Kobe and Jordan right here. And uh, let's let's take a look real quick. Now I am trying to get the Fallout or the Epic variant, of course. So I'm grinding out these keys or the salvage, whatever. But let's let's see what we got on here. We got suppressor, hollow point, because I'm going for those headshots, and quick draw. And we do have the reflex. The reflex man it just allows you to be that much more accurate, at least in my opinion. It just it turns this laser beam into a lock-on weapon, automatic. So don't need foregrip with this guy. I'm always running Ghost, always running Dead Silence, and Hardwire. Uh, the perks never really change for me, not too much at least. I might, I will probably never take Ghost off ever, <laughs> ever. But uh, it's just too valuable right now, man. But that's what we got for the MV4. Let's check out the K bar, suppressor, grip, quick draw. Perks are the same, guys. Ghost, Dead Silence, Hardwire. That's the class setups that your boy is using. Of course, I'm using different guns. But like I said, those are my absolute favorite guns in the game right now. That's all. Let's get into it, boy. All right, here we go, you guys. I'm just going to give you my thoughts. My, my thought process on why I am doing certain things in the game so pay attention to the gameplay and like I said I'm just gonna give you my tips and tricks to stay alive longer you guys calling those kill streaks to start ending the game so what I what I do you guys is I always stay on the outer edges of the map on the outside of the map at all times I really I I sometimes go to the middle only if it really calls for it or if I'm just not seeing too much action on the outside. Usually you do though. You see some good action on like those outer walls of the map. Um, as you can see, that's what I'm doing here. I'm not going to push toward the middle because I, I don't want a fair gunfight. I do not want a fair gunfight. I want to sucker punch you all the time. All of the time, I want to sucker punch you. No, <laughs> I never want a fair fight ever 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 so I look for the disadvantage at all times I look for the disadvantage and you should too once you start getting into that mindset it's really like your mind you have to think what you want to do and then do it I know that sounds kind of like cliche oh put your mind to it but it's really true once you start thinking I'm going to die less like stay, try to stay alive instead of worrying about kills i'm not saying go camp in one corner and say i'm just gonna stay alive right here but move strategically you guys i'm serious don't just run in there just with like no plan no nothing to why you're doing it you're just looking for someone you know go to kind of like high traffic areas that's why i go back to this side of the map 
because I know people, I always catch people wall running on that left side all the time. And people like to flank back here to this route that I'm going and try to come behind. So I'll just see, boom, there he is. So I'll, I'll, I'll patrol, I'll pick an area of the map and I'll patrol it. If I'm not getting the type of action I want, then I'll pick another uh, part of the map and I'll start patrolling there. I'm not just sitting in the corner. If you want to sit in the corner, I guess go ahead, man. Your game, you bought it, your money, you do what you want. <laughs> but this is what I do. I pick certain areas, I patrol. If I'm not getting the action I want, then I'll, I'll go to another area. So that right there is helping me stay alive because you're not going to catch me just all over the map and you'll catch me slipping and shoot me in my back it's not gonna happen so you want to i guess decrease the radius that you're seeing in you know what i mean instead of running to the middle of the map where you can get shot in all the, in your back the front the side 360 degrees all the way around you want to limit where you where potential enemies can come from so you know okay they can either come from the left or the right and that is it Instead of worrying about they're coming from the back, the side, the top, the bottom, freaking everywhere, you know? So, if you stay to the outer walls, the outer side of the map, then you limit the radius that you can get shot. Like, it, it just shrinks a whole lot and you have a lot less to worry about. So, that is what I do. I stick to the outside. Like I said, if I need to go to kind of toward the middle, then that's what I'll do as well. But I'm very cautious about what I'm doing and the manner that I'm doing it in all right so as you can see right here I'm always always I, I've went to the middle maybe twice but I'm always on the outside I'm checking like spots that I know people are gonna go that I'm checking spots that I think I'm going to go into so that's that's a good tip too is you guys check the spot check the routes that you would take if you're like I know I would go down there and I'd, I'd run over here and flank them then then do that and wait for that person it's okay to, you know, sit behind somewhere and, and kind of wait for someone to come because you know, you're know you like, I know they're going to come around here within a few seconds or something like that. Do it. Do it. You see? I'm shooting people in their back, you guys. All day I'm shooting people. Look at this. It's, it's unfair. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Do not put yourself into, like... A 50-50 gun chance. A uh, gun chance. Oh, Jesus. A 50-50 chance of winning. I want, like, 70-30, 80-20, 90-10, 100-0. I, I want the odds always to be in my favor, so that's what I'm trying to set myself up for. Is everything to be in my favor. All gunfights to be in my favor. So, I do the same thing. I stare at the minimap. I'm looking at the minimap probably every five seconds like all the time I'm, I'm looking at the minimap so usually what I do to determine because honestly I haven't hundred percent figured out the spawns like I don't know oh they're gonna spawn here right here or right here so what I do is gauge I just I look at the map and where I see my teammates I know there's probably not a lot of enemies so whatever like there's blank spots in the map where it's just like nobody I, I I'm a little more cautious around those areas because enemies are there and they're using ghosts or they could potentially spawn there by the time I, I get over there or something like that or if I'm, I'm in that certain location an uh, enemy has spawned behind you as long as if they're facing a different direction and you can't see that spawn that they're looking at you know they're not in your line of sight and uh, you're not in theirs and they're not in yours so I would definitely you know just proceed with caution man proceed with caution aim down sights everywhere you go everywhere you go you know when you especially high traffic areas aim down sights see he caught this guy wall running uh oh somebody shoot at me I, I don't know what's gonna happen right here somebody throw a grenade okay nothing happened so i'm out and don't sit there and wait if they they see shoot shoot them in the side you guys easy easy kill but like i said if some if, if you see someone and like you like and they saw you as well uh, don't run around a corner and wait for them. I, I come honestly, I completely just get out of the area because they're gonna, like, you have that slight chance of you have, not slight, you have a big chance of losing now because they're, they're they know you're there and they're waiting for you. 
you know, so they're gonna be proceeding with caution. His aim can be just completely on point, and he can just, man, lay you down quick. So I, I just completely get out of the situation. I'll try to flank him real quick or something like that. Shoot him in his back. That's the best way to kill is shoot them in their back i always try to get in their spawn that's that's my whole main that's the main goal for me is get in their spawn now i am running uav and counter uav you guys because i want to um first off i want to i want to see the people who aren't using ghost so i can get some easy kills there and i don't want uh them staring at their mini map so i'll just spam counter uavs and uavs all game you guys so I, so I have the, the the bigger advantage see right here I'm just catching people off guard man I'm just catching you all guard dog because you can't hear me and you can't see me on your map so I, I, I'm pretty much invisible I'm, I'm invisible to you until I make myself known on your kill cam look at this guy come on bro come on you see you get behind him you guys it is the best don't just be that that wild child in the middle of the map trying to get a clip or just super doesn't just jumping around and acting stupid I, I see that all the time man and it does not do nothing for you this is gonna raise your kd i know it just follow those tips man don't go to the middle of the map boys use like kill streaks that benefit you like i always use uav counter uav i don't care doesn't matter to me always use it i'm running ghost and suppressor and all that good stuff because i want to stay off the video so that's one less thing i have to worry about and then that's like it creates a whole other world of problems for them the things they have to worry about so that is all i got for you guys today make sure you like subscribe and tell your friends about it man peace